he was a character. <laughs> he made us all laugh um, all the time. That's probably the thing that all of us miss the most is the laughter. Jeremy Albaugh enjoyed the lighter side of life, but he was very serious about the military. It was his calling. It was really what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. Even as a, a small boy, he would, you know, play military, you know, dress in camouflage or paint his face. Jeremy signed up for the Marines right out of high school. After boot camp, he deployed to Iraq. His duty as personal security for a lieutenant colonel took him to the city of Al Qaim near the Syrian border. Right away, he was a valued member of the team. Jeremy helped our platoon function more efficiently and effectively, helped us with our mission readiness. Jeremy was always the first to jump out and secure the area. He used his sense of humor to bring levity to tense situations. Jeremy could always bring a joke around, you know, when it seemed like everybody else was kind of down and out. He was a good old country boy. No matter what the situation was, there was always a certain level of comfort that came with him being around you and the, your unit. He always had your back. Part of their mission was to help the people. We're starting to engage more with the local communities, building schools. I asked him point blank, should we be there? And he said, absolutely, Mom. He said, we're doing good things over here. On July 5th, 2007, when his platoon was returning from a mission near the Syrian border, Jeremy's vehicle hit a pothole. The front tire, nothing happened. When the rear tire hit the pothole, there was an IED in the pothole and it detonated right under Jeremy. Corporal Jeremy Albaugh died that day. He served in Iraq only three months. I think he would want to be remembered as somebody that would, would literally have done anything for anybody, whether he knew you or not. And I think it was indicative of why he joined the Marine Corps. He loved what he did. He believed in what he did. He believed in what we were doing overseas. His uh, headstone has a quote on it that to me speaks not just him, but a lot of men and women in the military. And it says there's, they are not heroes for the way they died. They are heroes for the right way they lived. And he, he lived a pretty full life for a 21-year-old. I'd like Jeremy to be remembered for the First of all, the awesome young man he was. And he was young. Also for, I think, even though he was young, the legacy he left is that he wasn't afraid to die for this country. 